Alright, now that you have EPSXC set up, let's get your gamepad set up so you can play your game. The first thing you're going to do is go to Google, as usual. This time you're going to type in Motion Joy. Motion Joy signed, or 64 bit signed. I'm going to click on the first link. Whatever you do, do not push download now right here. You're just asking for trouble if you do. Instead, go to download from here. Click on the here. It should pop up in this window. And you actually directly install the software from these two links. If you have 32-bit, go ahead and install that. If you have 64-bit, do that as well. I already installed mine for 64-bit. And... Yours should pop up on the desktop as DS3 tool. You're going to go ahead and uh, double click on that, open that up. If you've never connected your PlayStation 3 controller to your computer before, it's going to be fine. Just follow my steps and it should be very easy. I didn't have to do any other work other than this. Just plug it in. Mine is already recognized because I set it up. This is how you set it up on here. I'm going to click on Driver Manager. Click on Driver Manager, and where it says the port and all these numbers, that's your actual USB controller. Have that checked, and click on Load Driver. Yes, that should happen. Now, once it's successfully completed, click Install All. There you go. Should be working now. Go back to Profiles. Now, if your controller is not connected yet, or it doesn't pop up on the software, just unplug it, uh, exit DS3 tool, and do the whole thing over again. Without the install all, it's already installed, just plug it out, plug it in. Now, I've selected the second option, so my joypad works. Now that our computer recognizes our PS3 controller, time to set it up on EPSXE. Go ahead and open your emulator, click on config. And I've already done GamePad 1, so I'm going to click on GamePad 2. You should click on GamePad 1. So it's obvious what you have to do now is you're going to press buttons for each according button. So it says select button. I'm going to push the select button on my GamePad. Over here it says start. I'm going to push start. So on and so forth. When you're done, make sure to click OK. I'm going to click cancel because I do not want to save this. After that, you just run your ISO and you see if it's working or not should be working this is not a very hard process I'm gonna push start push start my gamepad start the game and that's pretty much it happy gaming